Okay, so uh, what I'm reviewing here is the TP-Link Archer uh, AC5400 wireless tri-band MooMimo gigabyte router. I can honestly say this is the best router I've ever had. It's a little bit pricey, but it solved all my problems. Um, you'll can see some of the features here. It has, um, tr it's a tri-band router, so it has three bands one 2.4 gigahertz and one two 5 gigahertz bands. It has nitro cam. Uh, these are features that uh, increase the speed. It has four stream uh, 11 AC, multi-user MIMU, uh, smart connect, beam forming, and even the processor in itself is a dual core 1.4 gigahertz processor. Now the bottom line with all these features is the end result is is a very fast router that never drops connections and has the strongest signal on every point of your house. Um, even some of this stuff is still, still like the Moo Mimu is not even really it's new technology that's not well supported yet that's coming in the future but I actually have one device that supports that and it's phenomenal. Uh, I'll show this router here I got it set up over here and you'll see this it's a beautiful router and the beauty about this high-end what I call uh, either video game or uh, HD video streaming router uh, and that's what most people like to get them for um, the beauty about this one it's kinda small uh, you know it, it is really small actually uh, I can't recall how many inches it is but I mean I think it was eight inches or something like that it's very small it's probably the smallest high performance router that I've seen. Some of them can be pretty big and bulky. This is really small and nice. Um, it's a great router. On the back it's got four Ethernet ports. Okay, so you got your four Ethernet ports plus you've got your uh, you know your internet port here to, to go to your modem. It's got two USBs, uh, one there and one there. One of them is a, I believe a USB 3.0, the blue one. And the white one is USB 2.0. Um, your antennas are, they move, and believe it or not, this does make a difference if you're trying to, um, in, in, you can adjust them all the way down, or you can lift them all the way up. You can't bend them backwards, they only go up this way. So sometimes if you notice, you don't got the maximum signal on some device uh, in another room in your house, you can actually adjust these antennas to try to beam it upstairs or on the right angle. I found that I was a, the way I got it set up right now, I was able to maximize the signal on just every device in my house, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. Um, it's a really good router. Um, one technology that it has, it's called beam forming. Um, and what that does is it detects the type of, once it's connected to your wireless, some other device in the house, it literally um, if that's really the only device that is neat calling for signal, it will focus that more uh, strength and beaming. So it'll form the beam to give the best signal to that device, depending on where it is. It can actually like shape the beams. So this is something that normal routers don't even do. Um, it also has this thing called uh, Smart Connect. And what that does is, um, being that it has three bands, if you set them all at the same um, SSID and password, what you what will happen is with Smart Connect, it'll automatically connect your device to the signal that has the best performance. So, um, if you say have you have a five gigahertz uh, uh, device that's connected to this router, and the two point four gigahertz is actually positioned better, it'll automatically switch over. So it, it with your device. Uh, so that is a neat feature. They call it Smart Connect. So it has this ability. And the thing is, you have three bands, right? So you, you're running three wireless networks. You can actually set them at different passwords, if you would like, in your house. I, would, I normally would keep them all at the same, so that the one device has the ability to connect to multiple automatically. The, the, the neat thing also about this router is it just does a lot of things to maximize the speed and not... And, I've never actually had a dropped connection with this router ever yet. Um, you'll notice the LED lights are not on and that's because I'm able to turn them off. There's a feature on it where you can turn them off. So if you have it in a bedroom, you know, you don't have to have these things flashing all night long. 
So that's a neat feature. Um, it's just a very good router. Doesn't draw connections. Um, what this thing is designed for, I got like 10 devices hooked up to this. A lot of people nowadays are finding that when they're connecting multiple devices to their router now, like nine or 10 devices in their house, they're finding there's a lot of slowdowns. And that's because realistically, a router cannot, a normal router cannot um, really s uh, support multiple devices very well. It's, uh, it, this router is a lot better for that, being that it has three bands, it can switch them and do all kinds of stuff, uses the five gigahertz band, and even the new Mu Mimu technology, which allows multiple devices to be connected to one signal and not have any delay or, de uh, you know. And I did one interesting test on this. On my old standard router that I had before, even though I had a 60 MPS service, a wireless devices for some strange reason could only get 30 MPS. Well now, with this router, I've done tests on every device in the house and you can only, you, I got 60 MPS service. Every device is measuring at now 70 MPS, which means my, actually my service provider is giving me 70 for the price of 60. And this router is making sure that every device gets the full bandwidth that my service provider uh, gives me. Um, I believe this is a, a router that's a capable up to more than 1,000 MPS. Actually, I think it, it's, I, I don't know who, the, who would get this kind of service, but you'll see that's the capability of this router. Um, you'll see with the different signals combined. There's a lot you can do with this router if you do the research. So this is a very good router. Um, I have no complaints about it. It solved all the problems I was experiencing in slowdowns and lag. The thing is phenomenal. Great for streaming HDTV. Uh, I'm doing it on a 60 MPS connection with no issues, no buffering. This solved a lot of problems. So that's a, a review of this router. It's a fantastic router, and that's all I can say.